Welcome to Cha Cha's Queendom. Today I want to show you this dish that's called the creamy baked Napa cabbage. Why? Because this dish is going extinct like the dinosaur. And that's not okay because this is so delicious. So all the Taiwanese people who are about my age, which is young, we grew up with this dish. We all have this dish in our hearts and in our childhood. To be honest, I don't really know the true origin of this dish, but I know we've always had it in the dim sum restaurants in Taiwan. But nowadays, when we want to show this dish to our kids, it's getting harder and harder to find it in the dim sum place in Taiwan. So it's disappearing from the menu. I feel like this is my responsibility to keep this dish alive and pass it on to you guys. You know what I'm gonna say. Would you please like, share, and subscribe? Turn on the little bell for notifications. And now let's get started. Here are the ingredients for today. So of course, to saute the Napa cabbage, we'll need to have Napa cabbage and some gingers, some dry scallops. If you don't have it, you can skip it. Dry shiitake mushrooms or any mushrooms of your choice. Uh, some bacon, also optional, but why not, right? Because it's so delicious. And if you use the dry scallop, you will need the Taiwanese rice wine to steam it in there. If you don't, you don't have to have the Taiwanese rice wine. For the roux that we're gonna make is uh, we're gonna need flour, butter, and milk. And of course, we need oil and some salt. First, we're gonna prepare these dry scallops and the dry shiitake mushrooms. With the dry scallops, we're just gonna pour in some Taiwanese rice wine in there. If you don't have it, you can use Japanese dry sake and just kind of cover it. And then we're gonna put this into this most ugly but super useful steamers of our Taiwanese brand, Da Tong. Okay, all you need to do is put one cup of water outside and put the lid on. See, there's no other switch, just one switch and on and go. If you don't have this, that's fine. You can use any steamers that you have to uh, steam it for about 20 minutes. Now we're gonna do the shiitake mushrooms. These are dry, so we wanna kinda hydrate it. So we're gonna uh, soak it in hot water for 15 minutes, 20 minutes or so. So these two are gonna stay here getting ready for our dish. So while we're waiting for the mushrooms and the dry scallops, we're gonna prep the rest of the ingredients. So first, we're gonna have a few slices of the ginger, and then we're gonna julienne. Now bacon, we're gonna chop it tiny chunks, slices. Okay, so the Napa cabbage I already washed, so we're just gonna chop it now. We're going to chop it into bite size, so about this big. And you know Napa cabbage, they're smaller ones and bigger ones, right? So it's up to you. You just kind of chop them into similar sizes. Now let's check on the mushrooms and the dry scallop. Now the shiitake mushroom is ready. They're all soft now. So all you need to do is really squeeze out the water. And then we cut the stem off. And then thinly slice it. Julienne. You really wanna squeeze the water out so that when you saute it, you won't splash too much. And we're gonna keep this water to flavor our Napa cabbage later. And then now, inside the scallops, the scallop is cooked, steamed, and there's still a little bit of this liquid left. We're gonna also put it into this mushroom water. And then now what we need to do is we're gonna, using our hands, but make sure it's not hot. Now all we need to do is go in and break it apart, make it into like little strips. Oh, before we start, 
We need to preheat our oven to broil at 425 degrees. Now everything is ready, let's rock and roll. First, we're gonna turn up the heat to high to heat up my wok first. Now the wok is heated, we're gonna turn the heat to low. Put in the oil. And the first thing we're gonna put in is the mushrooms, because it takes some time to get the mushroom fragrant. And remember, with mushrooms and dry scallops, you wanna do it in low heat. Saute it until you can smell your mushroom. Right now, about half of them is golden brown. I'm gonna put in the scallops. Again, low heat. And when you're sauteing, you can try to break apart more for the scallops to get smaller. You want to slow saute it in low heat for about 3 to 5 minutes until you smell the fragrance of the mushroom and the dry scallop and then you're going to put in the bacon. After you put the bacon in, you can turn the heat to medium, medium high. We just want to brown the bacon. And what I like to do is I keep them half and half. So this part is rendering the bacon and this part is still cooking the mushrooms and the dry scallop. But eventually, we're gonna mix them. When the bacon is ready, we're gonna put in the ginger, quickly stir, and then Napa cabbage. It's normal that you can't fit in all of your Napa cabbage in, but don't worry, give it time, you will be able to fit them all in. Season with a little salt first, so it will wilt faster. Now shrinking down, we can put in more Napa cabbage. That's all of it. Now remember the water from the mushrooms and the scallop, it's time to put it in. Now you see it shrink down to half of its size and most of the Napa cabbage is wilted a little bit. This is time to cover it up and let it cook with low heat for another 10 minutes or so. So while the napa cabbage is cooking in low heat, we're gonna start making this roux. Like making all the roux, we're gonna start with melting our butter. We're gonna put in the flour. Since we don't need the roux to be brown, so this is pretty much a foolproof recipe. Okay, now everything is incorporated. We're gonna add in the milk, a little bit at a time. And every time you wanna make sure they're all dissolved and see the consistency. At this stage, we're gonna turn the heat off. Look at the consistency here. It's kind of like a mashed potatoes. What we're going to do now is we're going to use part of it to thicken up the Napa cabbage to make it creamy. And we're going to keep some and add more milk in there to thin it out a little bit so we can spread it on top of the Napa cabbage. So after we bake it, we will have this beautiful golden brown pattern on top of it. So it will be gorgeous and delicious. Okay, let's check on our Napa cabbage now. Oh, see, now the Napa cabbage is all soft. And remember, all the Napa cabbage is different. If your Napa cabbage is giving out too much juice and your water is covering um, the Napa cabbage, you want to take some of the sauce out. But right now, for us, this is perfect. You can still see that there's liquid, but then it's not covering the Napa cabbage. Try the flavor first. See if we need more seasoning. No, it is perfect. Okay, now we're just gonna put in the roux that we made, little by little, and then turn up the heat. 
you want to make sure the roux that you put in is well dissolved. And right now, this is the consistency and you know it's still not creamy enough, so we're going to put in more. And this is all personal, how creamy you want it to be. And now here, it's getting really creamy, but then for me, I want it to be a little bit more. You can see the juice, the sauce is getting thickened and getting less and less. Just a tiny bit more. Now this is looking perfect, I'm going to turn the heat off. And then we're going to move them into a baking pan. Remember we set aside some roux and some of the milk. Now we're gonna thin it out and coat it on top of the Napa cabbage. Okay, again, we're gonna add in the milk a little bit at a time. Just to thin it out so it's spreadable, not too thick. But it cannot be too thin so it all sink into the Napa cabbage. We want it to sit on top of the Napa cabbage. When you slice through, the pan kind of Leave a mark. This is the right consistency for us. We're gonna spread it on top and coat the whole Napa cabbage. Turn the heat off and just a little bit at a time. Just a very thin layer of it. Put it into the oven for 10 to 15 minutes. Wow, now it's ready. Okay, one thing I have to mention, this is actually a great potluck dish. If you want to do it as a potluck dish, you can totally just spread the roux on top and then stop there and go to your friend's house and then broil it on, at the very end and take it out and it's hot, it's bubbling and it's delicious. And it's, here's the thing. All of us who's had this dish know it's very easy to burn your mouth. But it's so worth it. We always can't wait for it to cool down. We just want to dig in and then we burn our mouth. And then we tell ourselves, next time I'm going to wait. But next time when you see this dish and you can't wait, you burn your mouth again. Let me give it a try. I'll try not to burn my mouth. Look at this, and the steam is still coming out. But I can't wait. I have to try. Mmm. Mmm. All the flavor of the bacon, dry scallop, mushrooms, and the sweetness of the Napa cabbage, and it's creamy and it kind of melt in your mouth, but still because Napa cabbage has this fibery stem, right? So it still kind of keep some of the crunchiness and it's creamy, it's crunchy and oh, and then on the top, this burning part is what we fight for when we're little, okay? Oh, and of course, you can do it like potluck dish, but then when we were in Taiwan in the dim sum place, it's all like an individual serving. So you can totally use some individual baking pans to make it into this individual serving size. That would be cute for your guests too. Please make sure to give this recipe a try because we cannot let such an amazing dish go extinct, right? Now, if you like this video or this recipe, please remember to like, subscribe, and share, and turn on the notification bell. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.